Finally tonight, our Persons of the Week. For the last nine months, we've been following the amazing story of a football dad and his young daughter on a difficult journey. This week, they just learned some big news that will have you cheering for our Persons of the Week. I'm ready for today. You ready for today? You ready to get this cancer about you? It's now known as the Pep Talk, the video where we first meet little Leah Still and her father, Devin. Let's do it. Fist bump. On their way to treatment for Leah's cancer, diagnosed last June, a six-hour surgery, a tumor removed. Ice cream right here. Her dad documenting their journey the whole way. Hey, get up, huh? Tea parties with his daughter, and listen to what he tells her about her hair. You gonna be just like this, and we gonna look just like twins. Nuh -uh. Uh huh. Uh -uh. One of the reasons why I decided to go public with the story was to give people an inside look of what it's like for a family to go through pediatric cancer. Um, we're just taking it a day at a time. Daddy, I'm on a plane. One day at a time. The doctors initially unsure whether Leah would survive this rare form of pediatric cancer. Hi, Daddy. But slowly gaining strength, attending her father's football game, where a stadium full of cheering fans simply fell in love with her, even selling her dad's jersey and donating proceeds to pediatric cancer research. And tonight, nine months later, Devin still has a message for all those people who have been following them. We got the news Tuesday night that the doctors didn't find any active disease in my daughter's body, which was very big for our family. I was so excited, I really didn't know what to post on Instagram. I didn't know what pose to do. The first thing that came to mind was just flexing for Leah Strong. Leah and Devin today, the latest step in a long journey. It's basically giving us the light the dark that we didn't see before. And keep flexing. So we choose Devin and Leah Still. Thank you so much for watching. David will be back on Monday. And for all of us here, good night.